Emerging from this pandemic, we have an opportunity to come together, to roll up our sleeves and build a stronger, more equitable Seattle. I'm Teresa Mosqueda, and I've dedicated my career to building coalitions and getting results by bringing together diverse perspectives and passing progressive policies that challenge the status quo. In my first term here at Seattle City Council, with your help, we passed progressive policies to make Seattle more equitable and just. I led the coalition and passed the Jumpstart Progressive Revenue proposal to bring in over $214 million a year for investments in housing and small businesses in equitable development and Green New Deal priorities. I passed wage and leave standards for app-based drivers, made sure that our hotel workers had health care and workplace protections, and during COVID, made sure that our grocery workers had hazard pay. I led on the Domestic Workers' Bill of Rights that is now a national model for other cities. And we addressed the climate crisis by passing energy efficiency standards for city buildings and funding more housing within the city of Seattle. In the wake of COVID, I hope to continue to do this important work with your support. I hope to return to council with your vote and make sure that we can continue to invest in workers and small businesses, address environmental crisis, as well as make sure that we're addressing the health and stability for all Seattleites. I will fight for more affordable housing across our city, for police accountability and upstream investments, making sure that we invest in homeless prevention strategies and ensure that workers and small businesses have the support they need for a more equitable Seattle post COVID. I hope you'll join me and support my campaign for re-election. Please join individuals like Representative Jayapal, Attorney General Bob Ferguson, labor unions from across this county, including SEIU, Teamsters, UFCW, so many environmental justice groups like the Sierra Club and Washington Conservation Voters, and folks fighting for women's rights, LGBT rights, and health care justice. It's been an honor to serve you.